This is the mark of death on Epic Normal. So this is another three-person raid uh, with with two guildies and their dual boxes. And uh, the big thing with this raid is I had to switch destinies to Divine Crusader for this immunity to petrification. The boss here turns us to stone, and since we're short manned, it's a lot harder to deal with that. And so this uh, immunity to petrification makes this raid a lot easier. In fact, the only reason I really leveled this up this life is for this raid. Uh, I thought it would come in, you know, might come in handy somewhere else, but for sure for this raid, it's very useful. And uh, Chronovir also is in uh, Divine Crusader. Sh Shiley hasn't made it over to that destiny yet, so he'll he's probably the one that's going to get turned to stone. And we'll have some items that will that will that can clear that up. Uh, and so it's not so bad when just you know one person that has it. But the, you know the main thing is. If we have two people in Divine Crusader, I think we're in good shape. So there's a bridge. This bridge disappears as soon as we get, as soon as, uh, not when you get to the center, but if you advance too far, you want to kind of go just to the edge here and not advance too far. Once you kind of approach the Abbot, uh, the bridge goes away. Anybody that's, this this is not water. It's it's like a uh, death pool. It'll, it does a lot of damage. So we want to avoid the water. All right, all are in. Everybody's here. So we'll just approach the abbot. You, the and you can see the bridge went away now. And there's a barrier Your at the beginning. Ruined my ascension to godhood. I allowed the world to believe my phylactery was destroyed so I could plan my next attempt in peace. Then Arandus Mole appeared and promised to help. I should never have trusted her. That half breed she lich betrayed me. She's bound my soul to obey her will. And now she wants you dead. At least that part I'll enjoy. And so this part's like the old Abba Ray just beat down the rabbit. Or the abbot, not the rabbit. Until we get uh, this dimension door. And then um, Shiley and I are going to go in this door and deal with this room. Everyone else is going, or Chronovir is going to take care of the center. We're going to have to watch the stat damage here. I'll get these doom spheres first. Now we can break this, and I'm going to grab these goggles, and I'm going to put them in my hotbar. And what these let me do is see, I mean, I lose my strength, so I'll have to make sure I swap it back on. And the dual boxes could just park in there for the rest of the raid. And uh, you can see that uh, Chronovir has turned all these to gold, so that's fantastic. That's going to make this a lot easier. And we have two dimension doors that you could see, one there and one here, which I think we'll be able to see when we get a little closer. Uh, this is like a death pool, but if I put these goggles on, magic. I could Your see now make out the blue ones unseen. are permanent. These ones are not permanent. And they get darker. You can see these ones, before they disappear, they get darker. So you want to just time it, you know. Um, You could actually go in that water a little bit. Uh, you got to be careful though, because um, when it disappears, you can see this is going to be a little dicey here. When it disappears, you can get caught kind of under it. And you can see it just got a little bit of a lag spike there. All right, I'm going to try to get this. Okay, I missed it there, but I got in there. It's okay. Same there. We go here, and then I'm just going to try to go here and aim for that dimension door. So if you you don't hit too much damage, now make sure you get your goggles back on because um, for me they're critical. Um, let's see, I've got some stat damage, so let me take that. Uh, we talked about trying a different approach here. 
and specifically like bringing a dual box in because there's two sarcophagus and ideally you break them both at the same time. We're not, I'm not going to have the luxury of doing in that because another sarcophagus and another death knight. I'm doing this solo, both sides solo. <laughs> So these vampire knights, uh, because it's that epic normal, you can get some of them with the Holy Retribution. Alright, that's Inferno, so Kronavir, whenever you hear that, there's they have to get to a corner where the archers spawn. And if they don't, they could be in big trouble. And they do things like lose spell points, etc. So now I just uh, break this, grab these boulders, with a strange magic appear on the and then I take this dimension door and I want to avoid Inferno if I can. So I'm going to wait till this Inferno clears. You never want to go through this door into an Inferno. So I'm just going to wait till I get the all clear sign and then go in. And then I'm going to trade these to Kronavir because Kronavir has the uh, immunity. So he can, uh, if if um, he gets turned to stone, Shyly gets turned to stone, he can basically undo it with these. I'll give him 50. And I'll take 50. And because I have that immunity to petrification, I can get around that. Alright, goggles. See these beholders start spawning as soon as, as soon as I break that sarcophagus, and so ideally you'd have two people on each side. But we didn't have that luxury. No blue ones. That's the blue ones are the only permanent ones. So I'm gonna probably get stuck in in this uh, death water. All right, and then hit that dimension door. All right, make sure I get my good goggles on. Buff up. Another Death Knight protects another And I'm going to get some quells this time. And missile attacks on the Death Knight seem to be weakening. Try to do this as quick as possible because they're dealing with the holders. Kronavir is turning the stuff to stone. Um, he's not a cast or build, but because he's, you know, has good stats and such, he's able to get that DC, that DC to work. A first life caster would be able to get that to work, no problem, if they're focused on casting. appear amid the rubble the black abbot's third sarcophagus breaks and he is once again vulnerable but a voice intones through the chamber this is how the mortals defeated you the last time 
Isn't that right, Abbot? It doesn't suit me for you to die yet. Withdraw! And you, mortals. I know your type. So quick to judge, so quick to condemn everything that's different. As the elves and dragons condemned my house for the affront of allowing me to be born a half-elf, half-dragon babe. They hunted down and killed every member of my house. I See, Chronovir's turn, the Doom Spheres, everything to gold. That's better than killing them because they keep respawning. And so, I'm the last of the one great house bold. So now we need to beat down the Abbot a little bit. And don't, don't worry about the dual boxes. They... Whoa, you want to avoid that. Normally we would try to uh, get them in the other part, but we just... I think I went too fast, so it didn't, uh, didn't happen. No big deal. It just keeps it from dying. Alright. So now we're going to get these Death Knights. We want to bring them... Ideally, you want to stay out of that cloud. Alright. And so ideally we get these three guys together. Got some of them almost down. One down. Okay, we need to get out of that circle right away. And then we'll just try to get the two that are left. We just want to get them down as fast as we can. And just keep moving out of the out of any sort of clouds or circles you see. All right, and don't worry about the vampire knight if you're killing it. He'll turn it to gold when he can, but if he can't. All right, back out. Whoop. Whoa. There we go. Got to get out. Stat damage. Just keep moving out of the circles. That's all you can do, and they'll follow you. So uh, basically, all right. This is this is if you don't have death block, you die here. Now we need to get the abbot down as quick as we can. Same things apply. We have to deal with Inferno. We have to deal with lots of things here. Beholders got me. We just need to take him down as quick as we can. That negative 25 is a death block. A death spell. All right, that's it. So what happens is through no fault of uh, Shiley's, um, his item got disjuncted probably, and he lost death block. No child would have needed to live without their family. And that's that happens in this raid. It's a little bit of luck. You've chosen the world as the dragons and elves. So really, really well done. Chronovir and Shiley did a great job on the center. Um, I'll never stop fighting against their tyranny. We got those the side theory. passages uh, pretty quickly. Don't bother coming to me the next time Arganesson threatens to destroy Stormreach when something doesn't go their way. And you could have uh, two people do the side passages, but without those goggles, it's a lot tougher. So it's, you know, usually you have one person do it. At least we do. That's the way we do it. So, um, th eight threads of fate, some masterwork tapestry. That's for upgrading uh, orchard items with slots. We'll see if anybody got a named a named item. One of the best name. There's a couple of good named items from here. Probably one of the best ones is the uh, Epic Quiver of Alacrity, uh, which gives you 30% movement speed. It means you don't have to slot a item for speed. It's very helpful. But you could turn in these runes after 15 or so raids. Maybe closer to 20, but you could turn these in for a, uh, a quiver or whatever item you want. And you could do that over many lives. You don't have to get them all in the same life. It used to be that you had to get 20 runs in one life to turn in for an item. And now they've traded for this rune system where you could accumulate runes over many lives and then turn them in for an item. It's a really nice improvement, at least for me. All right, so I'm going to loot. I didn't see any named items this run if anybody got any named items they would uh, flash them so we could see them and that is the mark of death with three people on epic normal